very, very good friends. Their life was in my hands and my life was in their hands. When, when you're flying together, you do look upon people like that with very warm affection. Some of the others have said that you didn't really have time to make close friends. I deliberately tried not to make close friends. Well, I preferred to have just acquaintances at the time. Uh, it didn't hurt so much when you lost them. And also, so when you lost them, you could always prove that they, it was their fault they were shot down. If you thought it couldn't help them being shot down, well, then you wouldn't have flown because it could happen to you. But you knew jolly well it couldn't ever happen to you because you always did the right thing. Ginger, triumphal progress 29 years after the battle in a Blackpool tram. Then the party's over and it's back home to Flamborough in Yorkshire. Ginger left the Air Force two years ago as a squadron leader, then worked on the Battle of Britain feature film, but that job came to an end and life's been a bit dull since. Now he comes here with his youngest daughter, Min, but only to hunt for mushrooms. Was the war the high spot of your career? Yes, it has to be, really. Why do you say that? Well, it's my war. The only war that I'm ever likely to take any part in. I think the real reason why we sort of have so much trouble nowadays is that the chaps don't have a war. <laughs> 